do you want your girl to be next? Then let me know in the comments down below. Oh, by the way, also add me on Twitter, at Farazi on YouTube. Welcome back to another episode, and Knights of Trust is in today's guild review. I was planning, or I was actually looking into the things like, um, do I want to do the entire family of Knights of Trust, or do I only want to do uh, the Knights of Trust guild? So, the Terrible Bones, back when I did that uh, review, it was an entire family that I did, because they were quite small. Knights of Trust consists out of a couple, uh, 20 or 15 guilds, and there's a couple inactive, of course, or a couple... Um, not really that big, but aside from that, you know, the Terrible Bones was like two or three guilds uh, and, uh, and a ton of members that I really loved, but um, this is too much, you know, this is just a big family, so I'm going to be reviewing Knights of Trust only. So, let's start with some info about the guild. So these guys are completely maxed, I don't know if they have any sub guilds or whatever. I do know that they have Knights of Trust vacation, or KOT vacation as they call it. Uh, there's a I believe there's like 20 people with lying, there's uh, enough uh, run opportunities, they are with We Stand United as you can see right here, and it also says top 1 to top 100 if you need it, hey, this is uh, Knights of Trust, this is your guild basically. Uh, Kazi is the leader, She, I don't know how long she actually did this, but she was um, top 1 indie last time, I even congratulated her, she's a really nice gal, uh, to say the least, you know, I, um, Pedrito, the Coke Gold Master actually got me in, but uh, Kazi herself uh, is the actual leader, but I want to thank Pedrito for actually getting me into this guild. Alright, so in terms of rankings, uh, Knights of Trust is a really active and busy guild, honestly. Uh, they're, they're pretty much everywhere, uh, because they are. They, some of them go like top 10, Kazi is sometimes going top 1 I believe, not even sure if she does that, but uh, I believe so, because if you can get 1 billion on Indy, why don't you, uh, why aren't you on a top run, or why aren't you in top 1, maybe if you are an alliance or something. But hey, Kazi, uh, like I said, is one of is a really great leader as well uh, because I I don't know if she actually runs the entire Knights of Trust family as the kingpin or the, the big leader, or if she is like uh, one of the leadership. I know she's one of the leaderships out there, but don't know she if she's really the big the big boss, you know, the big the big one. But in terms of ranking, you can expect top two hundred fifty plus to say the least, top two hundred plus. So they're kind of the same uh, rankings as Eternality. You know, we are always like uh, to, uh, 100 to 200, same thing with Knights of Trust. They do top runs all the time, and I haven't been on a top runner with them, but that doesn't matter in this case. And yeah, this video actually did came out a little bit later, so I'm already, uh, by the time that this video will be out, I will already be in a new guild. And yeah, I will, I will be looking uh, forward, to, <laughs> actually, and I will also be looking for another guild. So if you want to have your guild uh, be uh, in a review, let me know. And yeah, maybe I'll get in there. Lastly, my personal experience as usual. You know, people always get triggered when I put my own opinion in shit like this. But to be honest, I've had a fun time with Knights of Trust, you know? Though I have no idea if they even have a home chat in uh, But what I do know is that I have been in the Knights of Trust family... Uh, how do you say that? The family chat? And the war chat. So I don't know if Knights of Trust itself has a home chat, but the family does have a big chat. So, if they don't have a home chat for Knights of Trust itself, I would kind of recommend it. I mean, it doesn't really it's not really necessary, but I, I would recommend it myself. Um, War chat is really, it's organized as shit, honestly. They, they declare, all you see is the Guild Sentinel and then the Guild Master stripped, and if the Guild Master isn't stripped, you see a Guild Master uh, screenshot. So, I don't really have anything to see on that. My, yeah, like I said, my personal experience, it was organized... It was really, um, the strategies are nowhere to be found, honestly, because strips, you know, uh, <laughs> well, what's the, what's to say about a strip? A, a strip is a strategy itself, but it's not really a strategy anymore if everybody does it, you know? It's, it, then it's just regular life. <laughs> it, it's just getting regular life with Night, with Night Dragons, of course. So yeah, Kazi was really nice to me, pretty much. I, I've talked a bit with some people from the Knights of Trust uh, guilds as well as family. Nice people. I know that most of the guys and girls, of course, in this game are really nice towards each other. You know, they're really open-minded and stuff. But there's some that can actually really get on your nerves at times. I'm not going to name any names, but it's just some people that you sometimes see in the tag rooms that are actually, 
you know, being checked for the attack, you know, and then you see a void or something. And if you see a void, it's usually a kind of a big problem if a lot of people have it as an avoid. But I would recommend going to Knights of Trust personally. I mean, if you just want the top 250 gold, don't, they don't have any minimums, by the way, I should have noted this earlier, and that, that was really like, uh, it, it really was a uh, relax for me to do that, you know, I, I could just get on and just do my thing. And I loved it, uh, honestly, I love my time here, so I want to thank Pedrito again for getting me in here. Kazi, you're an awesome leader, honestly, you're so nice, to, you're so nice to pretty much everybody. And yeah, you are, you're always willing to help new, newer guys too, that's also a thing that I saw. You know, I mean, this Calyptic guy that you see in the chat, uh, the, the, bit, the one on top of the, the girl chat, he was a new guy, I believe. I, 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 maybe I can see it here. Calyptic. Where is he? There, yeah, here he is. Uh, he's kind of a new guy. When maybe somebody that came back recently or something. And yeah, she was really nice to him and just giving him some tips about how to do this and how to do that. You know, and as a big leader from a family or as a leader from a big family, I, I, I for now well, I actually said that wrong. You know, you have to be, uh, you have to still be on top of pretty much everything in your own guild, of course, if you have one. Because there's some leaders that don't even have an own guild anymore. I mean, just take a look at David. He was in the Rise of the Sith, but I don't know if he still guild masters that. I, I, he's just over, he's just everywhere as of lately. And, yeah, the, you kind of just, yeah, mm, you kind of just uh, don't even recognize your own guild anymore after a while, I guess. I mean... For how long has David, you know, let's just take a look, let's, let, now, now I want to see, Rise of the Shit, uh, Sith, sorry, uh, Rise of the Sith, I always said Rise of the Shit, by the way, so it's not really, uh, let's see, inactive, yeah, this is Mike, okay, Mike from Wrecking House, okay, I see, <laughs> I see, um, man, it's, it's just a shell girl that sometimes just pops up, so, David doesn't really have anything anymore, but, uh, we Stand United, this is the second guild in a row that I've actually been reviewing from We Stand United. Uh, but, you know, I don't really see a lot from We Stand United itself, it's just I, I only see the family chat. But that doesn't really matter because I'm reviewing a guild and not an entire alliance. So guys, do you want to have your guild reviewed next? Even though you're small, I don't mind, you know, I would love to give you a shout out. This is basically a shout out and also uh, some tips if needed, of course. But for the girls that I have had so far, no no tips were needed because all these girls just pretty much run themselves after a while. Same as my girls, you know, it, it it just it just starts to become an auto automizing stuff, you know? It just does itself after a while. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave that like if you enjoyed, smash that sub button and share this video as usual, and I hope to see you all again next time.